Let's expand and simplify x minus 1 times x minus 1. We'll use the distributive property to do that, and a good way to remember that is the FOIL method here. So we're going to take the first term here, we're going to multiply those together. So x times x, that's x squared. Then we'll take the outside terms, this x here times negative 1. That gives us negative 1x. We usually just write that as negative x. Inside, negative 1 times x, that's another negative 1x. And then last terms, negative 1 times negative 1. Negative times a negative, that gives us positive 1. So these are both x. We can combine these together. We'll get x squared minus 2x plus 1. So we've expanded and simplified x minus 1 times x minus 1 to get x squared minus 2x plus 1. If you factor this, you would end up with x minus 1 times x minus 1. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.